Alright y'all, I'm going to do another video and uh, this one's going to be on a little bit of project I'm working on. I am going to create a second barrel for this here Rossi 410 shotgun. I will do a review on this eventually, but it's little 410, single shot, 3 inch chamber, and uh, stock's been raised and this rib put in place uh, to make it somewhat of a trap gun also got this rear bead front bead so you can kinda look down this try and get a good view of this so it's a little trap gun little uh, single shot and uh, this is kinda my truck gun I like to keep this in my truck or well not keep in my truck but take it with me when I'm going places uh, where there's the potential to hunt stuff or shoot shit so that's uh... that's my uh... gun that I'm starting with this is a pretty solid gun um, I believe you can get these for about fifty bucks used uh, I paid seventy five but this is a really really nice gun I mean you got a nice ribbed barrel lifted stock points real easy it's a good trap gun you know so I'm gonna get on with this and show you all what I've done the reason I'm making this into a uh, rifle well I'm gonna make a rifle barrel for it but of course you can change it back do you need a shotgun so I like 410 so I'm gonna not modify this gun I'm just gonna keep it as a 410 but I'm gonna make that barrel so I can have another option so let's get started alright so camera was being a fucking faggot and shut off but here are the bullets that the rifle will fire 32 Smith and Wesson long this is sort of like the dumbed down 38 special like a little version of it instead of being 35 caliber it's 32 caliber shoots a 98 grain bullet at around 700 feet a second 32 short um, this one's actually a misfire at firing pin strikes there I got a 32 that won't set them off but here's the bullet I'm just using round balls for this so there's a case you know you can tell the length this shoots a uh, 88 grain lead round nose bullet at about 600 feet a second is about the standard for that you know 600 650 and that was uh, one of Smith and Wesson's old rounds this is a these are basically the center fire versions of the 32 short and the 32 long so what we're looking for is more punch than a 22 long rifle and uh, less noise so I'm going to achieve that by pushing a bullet that weighs more than a 22 long rifle does subsonic so around 1000 feet a second 100 grain bullet and that'll be our bunny cartridge of course I will shoot shit so let me get on to explain the lug alright so I forgot to explain I already um, the reason I chose this round I was gonna do 38 special but I kinda decided against it um, just because finding a barrel I mean I can find a barrel for it everything I can get Lee loaders shit like that I might be inclined to chamber it for 357 Magnum but I don't know if the gun could take it so I'm just sticking with 32 since that's going to be a nice light and nice and quiet caliber but the reason I chose 32 other than that is because I already load for it you know I've got a few 32's this one's an Ivor Johnson American Bulldog so I've already got the primers brass and bullet mold to feed this rifle with this one's my favorite I'll check this out. So it's a 32 short. There. 
Thayer Robertson and Carey. It's a brake top, so as soon as you pull that up, it ejects the brass. So I'll just use it around to show you. It's pointed in the safe direction. Just point it towards the dirt. So you've got your round in there. You fire it, pull this up, and it ejects it for you. Get that one. So that's a uh, brake top. Um, so this one's, I, I might do a video on this, like a review, but I, I, this is what I shot in testing the 32 Smith & Wesson short. Um, that was way over yonder on my property. But this is a cute little gun, you know, single action. You can fire it single action or double action. So cute little gun cute little gun nice little plinker good good substitute for a 22 revolver alright so I got the action right here here's the lug that I made it is made of mild steel so it's basically a copy of this and I'm going to show you how I made this thing in a second here just compile some photos and tell you about each one that locks in there feels sturdier than hell so press this and uh... see if I can do it you know, can't do it with one hand, I'll just hold the hand, camera like this between my kneecaps like that pull it out so that comes and catches on that little thing in there so uh, I'll tell you all how I made this and uh, show you some pictures. So that is eventually going to be welded onto my barrel. So I started making this thing out of a uh, mild steel uh, target that I had just for air rifles. I just stick the thing out there and group my pellet gun on it throw a little bit of paint on there. Hold on. Got something on the lens. This fucking shit. Huh? So, I started with mild steel plate and started by making a template out of the original lug and I just traced it out in pencil and gave myself a little extra so if you notice it's taller So that's to give me a little bit of leeway in uh, welding this thing on. I am going to have to cut some off, but you know this is all part of fitting the barrel. So here's a picture of just tracing it out. So after I trace it out, I cut it uh, out of the paper and uh, engraved it onto a piece of mild steel, the target I was working with. It was just uh, some stuff my friend Reggie gave me, and uh, he has a shit ton of that over on the farm. So after I did that, I started chain drilling. So I got a bit that would fit this part here, and I drilled that out to save me some work. After I did that, what I did was I, uh, you know, just basically just started chain drilling all around it. Here's some of the pictures from that process. So after I uh, drilled it out, what I did was I just put some leather over it and tapped it out with a mallet. Didn't take too many whacks, just a few good ones. And uh, after that, I, I, I used a uh, leather hammer, or not leather, um, rawhide. And uh, I just tapped that some bitch right on out.
after that it was all a matter of using my uh, four and a half inch angle grinder to kind of clean it up and then I had a rough shape of what I had wanted after I had the rough shape it was all just a matter of final fitting and uh, seeing if I could get this thing to go into the gun after many hours of just filing well, it just um, you know I finally fitted it I had to take some off you know here dig this out more uh, did some more filing in there just to kind of make it come out a bit so it would fit into the uh, action of the gun so that's how I made the lug and uh, it's pretty uh, pretty good bit of work but I'll talk about the barrel and uh, tell you what I'm using for that. Alright, so the barrel's going to look sort of like this one, but without a rib and with rifle sights and 20 inches long is the length I'm going for. So we're talking like, you know, 8 inches off that. The barrel's going to be about that long, so it should be a good little short kind of carbine type. Uh, rifle and uh, I'm gonna probably mount a uh, either a peep sight or a notch and blade sight on it uh, no fiber optics probably just a front brass blade that'll be driftable and a uh, elevation adjustable rear sight so that'll uh, that'll look good I have coming to me in the mail a uh, 20 inch AK-47 blank in 7.62 millimeter and uh, if you're like me and you like uh, movies you'll remember that kind of makes me think of uh, the movie Full Metal Jacket where the guy's like 7.62 millimeter full metal jacket I don't know but whenever I hear 7.62 I think of that shit I love Full Metal Jacket great movie but this isn't a movie review. This is a uh, we're talking about building shit with guns. So what I'm what I've got is an inch in diameter. I'm gonna have to turn it down to the diameter of this at the breech. I'm gonna beef up my chamber just like on this barrel, so it will go into the stock where it's kind of cut out. You can see that, and of course turn it down to about that diameter I'm gonna have somebody weld something just like this on there if I can't find something just like this like a uh, same threads and all that I could probably just get a uh, nice long uh, nut or something and just have my guy weld it on there he knows how to weld of course I'm gonna have to take the uh, lug cut it down weld that on there so that's uh, my little project so we're going to be doing uh, part two for this video so stay tuned um, I need my AK-47 barrel to get here but Green Mountain's got a bunch of drunks working there so uh, yeah anyway it's going to take me a few days I reckon anyway stay safe and God bless America keep on shooting <laughs>